here with Adam Isley from Uncle Josh. Adam, you're using tube jigs today. What are some of the basic options with these Kalen tubes? You basically got two different options. You got a tube jig, which is a very traditional open water, um, hard bottom where there's very little weeds and stuff that you want to use. And this is how it, it's set up. You just, you basically take a, a Kalen's tube jig, um, we make them anywhere from 16th ounce all the way up to half ounce. And what you're doing is you're basically just going to put it inside of the of the tentacles and you stick it right inside the tube so that it comes out like this. And what it actually does is it looks like a little crayfish or some type of bait fish is, is, as you're dragging it along the bottom is exactly what it's imitating. It's just like a little tasty little morsel to them. Um, and you, we make it in a couple different sizes, a three and a half and a three inch. But then there's also another great option if there's a lot of weeds, if there's a lot of wood, a lot of cover, where you don't necessarily want an exposed hook that's going to get snagged up all the time. It's more of a weedless option. Um, so what you're doing is you're putting the tube on a basic hook with the sinker above it. And then you just skin hook it right back into the tube and now it's completely weedless and that's another great option. If it's heavy, heavy matted vegetation, um, different types of grasses, then I'll typically peg it so that it all goes down in one compact profile. If I'm just flipping light vegetation cover, different woods, docks, then I don't, there's really no need to. It's nice to just let it f just free flow up and down the line, which is, which is what we've been doing today.